The 777 has a backup power system consisting of two backup generators. These ensure electrical power is available for essential loads. Essential loads are powered by the left and right transfer buses. Essential loads include instrument and panel lighting, captain's and first officer's navigation and communication radios, and center pitot and engine probe heat. The transfer buses are normally powered by the left and right main AC buses. The transfer buses connect to one of the backup generators when their AC buses are unpowered. They are normally left on. The backup generator switch off lights remain illuminated until their associated engine is running. With the engines running and the backup generator switches on, automatic switching is armed. Notice that the backup generators are running. Push the left backup generator switch to the off position. With the switch off, power to the transfer buses is not available from that generator, even though the generator is operating normally. Now reset the switch. The backup power system provides uninterrupted transfer of power to essential loads in the event of loss of one main AC bus, the loss of both main AC buses, when only one main generator is available, and during auto land. In the event of loss of all main and backup generators, a standby system powers critical AC and DC equipment. Critical AC loads include center ILS and radio altimeter, marker beacon left, ATC transponder left, VOR left, and engine igniters. Critical DC loads include the captain's and first officer's flight instruments and displays. The standby system consists of the battery buses, the captain's and first officer's flight instrument buses, and an AC standby bus. Normal power for these buses is from the left and right AC transfer buses, either directly or through TRUs. Should the transfer buses become unpowered, a ram air turbine or RAT provides DC power through the TRUs. And the standby AC bus is powered from the battery bus through a standby inverter. The ram air turbine or RAT can be deployed in flight to provide electrical and hydraulic power simultaneously. It is the primary source of standby electrical power if all normal sources are lost. It is located in the aft right fairing and is a non-time limited source of power. However, its output is small, providing less than one-tenth the power of the other generators. The RAT is deployed automatically if both AC transfer buses are unpowered. If all three hydraulic system pressures are low, or with dual engine failure and the center hydraulic system pressure low. If the RAT fails to deploy automatically, the crew can deploy it manually. The ram air turbine switch is located on the hydraulic panel. Deploy the RAT. The ram air turbine unlocked light illuminates when the rat is not in the fully up and locked position. The pressure light illuminates when the rat is producing normal hydraulic pressure to the flight controls. If the rat is unable to maintain hydraulic pressure, the electrical load is shed until hydraulic pressure is satisfactory. 
When rat electrical loads are shed, or during periods prior to rat deployment, the main battery powers the standby power system. When the rat provides electrical power, both the captain's and first officer's flight instrument buses are powered. When the battery provides standby power, only the captain's flight instrument bus is powered. Now let's look at some non-normal indications. Shortly after takeoff, the ICAS advisory message electric generator off left displays and the off light in the generator control switch on the overhead panel illuminates. A generator fault caused the protection circuits to trip the field and the generator breaker to open. Pushing the left generator control switch off and on resets the system. Reset the left generator. The fault was temporary. The ICAS message is removed and the generator operates normally after resetting. During climb, the ICAS advisory message electric generator drive left displays and the left generator drive light illuminates. The message indicates there is low oil pressure in the generator drive. Hold the guarded switch for one second to disconnect the generator drive from the engine. The generator drive is now disconnected. It can only be reconnected by maintenance action. High generator drive temperature automatically disconnects the generator drive, giving these same indications. With the generator drive disconnected, the message electric generator off left also displays, and a backup generator is immediately connected to the left transfer bus. The associated engine generator is lost for the duration of the flight. The right engine generator powers the left main AC bus. Power to the left transfer bus is supplied by the left backup generator. The APU can be started to provide a second generator for the system. Start the APU. The ICAS messages may be canceled. Cancel the messages. After the left engine generator fails, the right engine generator fails. The APU now powers both main buses. With two generators lost, the right backup generator powers the transfer buses. Only one backup generator at a time can power the transfer buses. Reset the master caution system. During cruise, the caution message electric AC bus right displays. This indicates the right main AC bus is unpowered. Items powered by the right main bus are lost. However, the backup system continues to power the transfer buses. The ICAS messages may be canceled. We are cleared to descend. The ICAS advisory message, electric backup generator left displays, and the backup generator off light illuminates. This indicates the left backup generator has failed. Notice the right backup generator continues to power both transfer buses. Pushing the backup generator switch off and on allows the circuitry to reset. Reset the backup generator.
The condition was temporary and the left backup generator is now back online. We are cleared for the approach. Autoland is possible with one main generator and one backup generator operating. Several electrical ICAST messages are for crew awareness only. There are no associated orals and crew action is not required. Information about these messages is available next.